Das war mal Kitchen, wo ich mich gezählt habe. Weil die Justiz war so ein Feier. Ich war mal auf Platt in der Rue Antoine Breyer. Du konntest das Palais de Justice sehen. Und die Palais de Justice war auf Feuer. Und ich war mal auf der Küche, wo du es sehen konntest. Und ich habe das Feuer gesehen. Meine Mutter war draußen. Sie war nicht da, sie war nicht in der Platt. Und ich konnte dieses Ruf auf Feuer sehen. And collapsing. It was a terrible sight, very frightening. Anyway, <coughs> I went out. Don't know why I just did. <laughs> I was supposed to go and see what was going on. And uh, I went to the Maison Communale, which is quite close by, by the flat where we lived. And there was this, all these signs to different towns and different places had been pulled down by the people. The orders of the resistance, I suppose, I don't know. Trying to confuse the Germans to find their way out. Yes, and there was this tank with a Feldwebel on top, going round and round in circles because it just couldn't find its way. But the trouble was it was opening his machine gun, wasn't he, and beginning to shoot around. So back home I went. No, I didn't. Went back to where the, towards where I lived and went to the Chaussee d'Alsenberg, which is the big street that goes from Place Albert around to, down to La Barriere. And then I looked up and that's when I saw my mother. <laughs> she, uh, she was running down the street as fast as she could go, on in her high heels, and she was mad. And she, she got a man by the scruff of his neck and he was clutching something, I can't remember what it was, made him go back to where a big bonfire had been lit in the middle of her Chaussée d'Alsenberg. And what was happening was in a top flat on the right hand side, People had invaded this particular flat because the flat had been inhabited by collaborators and they were chucking everything from the flat onto the street and people had set fire to it, it was a creeping bonfire of furniture or you name it, they chucked it out through these windows. My mother had seen this guy take a piece or whatever it was and she, was <laughs> she made him put it back on the bonfire. Well, the day, the way that day started, that was a Sunday. <clears throat> Mother and I, and I had gone down into the to the town, to the, and we had lunch. We had chicken. I remember that. <laughs> At opposite uh, La Bourse, there's an hotel there, and I think it's called the Central, the Central. And we sat in. We, we always sat in the window. We always sat in the window. And this was quite a big window. We had a table by the window. And uh, these suddenly went very quiet. The trams seemed to disappear. And these Germans went by on bicycles, but the bicycles didn't have any tires. <laughs> they uh, looted. There was a, a big bicycle shop further down this, down this road. And they had uh, taken the bicycles and they were trying to get out of Brussels on these bicycles. Anyway, we had to walk then from the center of the town, the box, no trams, back home. That's how the day started, really. <coughs> and later on, about maybe an hour or so later, I saw her getting involved in this bonfire. And she, she was just out, and I was just wandering about, went back, had something to eat or whatever, and went out again. I forgot, didn't I? When I was wondering that after I'd seen her do that down the road, I went to Port d'Arles, and I saw two young Germans in what was not a tank, but... Um, a shell blade, uh, that's a some tank. Some kind of armoured car? I saw yeah. some kind of armoured car. 
They were just sitting in this thing, I suppose, waiting for orders. I don't know. And I put my tongue out of them. <laughs> Anyway, later that afternoon, those two boys had disappeared, but that uh, whatever it was was still there. It was later that night, around nine o'clock, that I was back on that particular spot. And this time there were big tanks, and I thought, oh dear, what's all this? And uh, I looked, and this, uh, uh, an English soldier or a British soldier came up to me and he, he looked at me, stand over there, he said, there was a tiny little light on this tank. And he said, how old are you? And I went, 17. <laughs> and that was a Tommy? That was a Tommy. Oh, that must have been a wonderful feeling. Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah. The British were back. The British were back. Mm. Of course, it was that day when you see all these films about... Uh, Young girls, no, it was the following day. Young girls being on tanks and... Mm. Because the, there's a general called Horrocks. And I watched him on TV in one of those documentaries and he said, the people might have gone bad when we got to Paris, but there was nothing in comparison to when we went to Brussels. Yeah. Yeah, the, the reception they got when they got to Brussels. That's the, the tank regiment, the Welsh tank. We saw some people like that in 94. Yes. People who came back then, uh, yeah. 50 years later. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you ready to close the door on your memories, Mum, for yes, today? Please. Yes, please. Yes, oh, please. My war. Yeah. War years, it was awful, really. <laughs>